Well, with these extreme temperatures we've been having, I had a couple people write me and say, you know, could you do a little segment on uh, feral cat shelters? And thought it was a great idea. Yeah. So my niece and I, this is my niece Alexa, she and I got together and we made one. And they're really easy, fun to make, and pretty simple and inexpensive. You need foam. Yeah, you need foam board. You that you can buy at a hardware store. Hardware store, craft store. You need foam sealant. Yeah, we bought this too. This is a little bit of a cheat there. You need straw, not hay. Big difference between straw and hay. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know. Hay is feed. Straw will actually insulate and keep them dry. And most importantly, you need a Rubbermaid container. Yeah, about 18 gallons is probably a, a appropriate size, right? Right, okay. exactly. You don't want anything much larger than that. First thing you do is you uh, you cut a hole, five by five hole. We put it to the side so that way the air doesn't go right through the container. You then cut the foam, and we'll put a link to all of this on our website. We stuck a piece of foam to the top of the container. We put it all around the sides, and then we use spray foam to insulate around the exterior where it's a little concaved. Yeah, exactly. So it'll fill in that hole and then you want to put that straw in there afterwards and that's going to repel any water or any moisture that gets in. Exactly, which is why you don't want to use blankets or paper. Right. Put this on the top if you can, elevate it on a couple of bricks or a two by four. Yep. And you have a kitty condo and a nice way, nice project to do with the kids, a nice way to help the uh, animals that can't help themselves in this extreme cold. Absolutely. Good job. Yeah, good job.